From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, you're going to need those air conditionings working uh, properly, right? Because, boy, I tell you, it's getting warmer out there. That summer heat is returning. You know, some of us are going to be flirting with that triple digit mark in the valley today. There's no doubt about that. By tomorrow, I think many of us could be reaching that 100 degree uh, temperature here for the rest of the week. But we do have a cooling trend. It's going into the weekend, especially for your Labor Day weekend, looking much better for the second half of your Labor Day weekend. But really, looking down the line here, I'm not seeing any major heat waves. So yeah, temperature is going up, they're going back down again. And even though they're going back up in the longer range, it's again, not a major heat wave by any stretch. Here's your neighborhood forecast for today. Again, we're flirting with that 100 degree mark, I think for some of us in the Valley. And if some of us touch 100 degrees today, not out of the question, but I, I think we're going to keep it mainly in the upper 90s. Uh, temperatures for the coast, yeah, you're getting close to 70 for the even the immediate coast. Temperatures 80s for Siskiyou, Modoc, Eastern Mountains, and for Trinity County in the mid 90s for your daytime highs. Let's take a look at those winds. And of course, that's always uh, the few things that we look at. Temperatures, the winds, and the humidity when we're talking fire danger. We've got to look at it every day, folks, just so we know what's going on here. So the winds are picking up this afternoon for, you can see the areas in green here. So that's upwards of 20, 25 miles per hour. So yeah, a little breezy again, but nothing unusual. This is the pattern that we've seen all summer long, right? But tomorrow, I'm actually expecting weaker winds. But that doesn't mean the fire danger won't go down by much because we're still looking at dry conditions and not to mention um, also those hot temperatures. So we look at the wind gusts through Thursday and again, not much going on there, not a big issue. Now we take a look at the relative humidity. Again, it's gonna be another dry day out there today in the valley. We're talking single digits, maybe around 10% for Redding and Red Bluff. Then we go into your Wednesday and it actually looks like the humidity levels will be just a tad lower. You're down to about 4% in Chico, 8% in Redding. Uh, even in the mountains here to the east, it's, it's getting pretty low. You're getting down to the teens. And then going into your Thursday, once again, very dry. You're still about three to 5% for Redding all the way down to Chico. And look at that, even single digits for Alturas and Aden. So again, this isn't gonna bode well when we're talking about that fire weather risk. So for today, we're kind of in that moderate range here for the valley, not to mention parts of southeastern Lassen County. As we go into your Wednesday, we're starting to get some more oranges there on the map here. So now we're getting in that moderate to high range for at least the north end of the valley. And it looks like as we take you on into your Thursday, again, we're looking at uh, kind of getting in that moderate to even high category for your Thursday. So we've got this area of low pressure here. This is moving eastward, but really the cold front associated with that, you see how it's mainly just impacting the Pacific Northwest but really not having a very big impact on us. We may see a couple of passing clouds, high clouds, coming from that uh, cold front. But again, that's not gonna really drop our temperatures down. In fact, believe it or not, temperatures are going up. But that said, even though it's not having a very big impact, it's still going to really suppress that heat a little bit. So it won't be quite as warm as we uh, it would typically see. So we look at uh, future cast. Now what's happening is this. As we go into your Sunday, so really we're gonna keep it dry for the rest of the week and, and most of the weekend too, but by Sunday, you can see there's some of this monsoon moisture that's just, I mean, we're on the very Western edge of that flow. So it's, it, it's a really touchy thing, right? Because all you have to do is shift a little bit more to the West, chances for thunderstorms are higher. Shift it a little bit more to the East, now you're completely dry. Okay, so it's, it's still not set in stone just yet, but you can see there is that potential for the Sierra and the Southern Cascades to possibly see some showers and thunderstorms here uh, by Sunday, maybe as early as Saturday, but for now I don't have it in the, in the uh, long range outlook here. All right, but just something that I'm keeping my eyes on here as we closer to the weekend. So again, that summer heat's returning. Again, there's that cooler air to our North that pushes to the North and East. 
Meanwhile, high pressure is starting to kind of settle back in, which means more heat. Temperatures increasing for today, tomorrow through Friday. Now, after Friday, the temperatures should start to drop as that bubble of heat pushes to the east thanks to this area of low pressure here. Now, this is a weak area of low pressure. I don't anticipate it to do much for us other than dropping our temperatures down. By especially Sunday and into Monday, you're talking low 90s for your daytime highs. That'll probably continue into Tuesday before temperatures start to go back up again because that area of low pressure is now moving on out. We'll probably start to see those temperatures increase a bit. But again, we're not looking at any big ridges of high pressure, any major heat waves. So for today, I'm keeping it just shy of 100 degrees especially to the north end of the valley. But, you know, we're talking mid 90s for Oroville as well as Chico, but upper 90s for Redding. And that's pretty typical, right? But cooler in Dunsmuir at 89, 87 degrees from Mount Shasta City. For the coast, I mean, you're getting close to that 70 degree mark for places like Crescent City and even Eureka. So we take a look at your seven day outlook. Temperatures around 100 degrees here for your Wednesday and around 100 degrees for Thursday, Friday. And then you can see how it's kind of staying fairly warm here through the rest of this week. But temperatures start to drop, but still warm to start off your weekend. By Sunday, you're in the low 90s, and we're going to keep it that way, even going into Monday of next week. Now for the coast, temperatures upper 60s to about 70 through Friday. So actually very pleasant weather there, but it is cooling off a bit for the weekend back down to the mid 60s. Inland Weaverville, same trend as the valley. Temperatures are going up, and then they start to drop again going into the weekend, and especially for early next week. Taking a look at your 7-day outlook for Siskiyou, Modoc, Eastern Mountains. Again, that same trend going up through Thursday and Friday, and then temperatures start to drop as you go into the weekend and for your Labor Day, which is, of course, this Monday. That is your afternoon update. Be sure to stick around for your 6 o'clock in the evening update, and I'll have the latest on your forecast. At Cottonwood Small Animal Clinic and Cottonwood Veterinary Clinic, we're here to provide the best possible care for your patients. We understand that your pet is your family member, and when your family member is sick, they need urgent help. All our staff is so passionate about the care that goes into all your little creatures. Making relationships with pet parents here in Cottonwood is the greatest feeling in the world. Come find us off the Gas Point exit here in the heart of Cottonwood.